Okay, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial again. Today is a different kind of thing because I've noticed some confusion with how the schedule is listed, okay? Now, one point of contention generally with Americans, I myself am American, is the whole use of military time, okay? The second point is just how the schedule is formatted, I guess. Um, there's been at least two people in the last few days who didn't understand that the time slots you're seeing are for the current day that's highlighted at the top. They thought that the times listed directly below the dates that you saw were the dates that they could be booked for. Um, I'm not sure if this is a common misconception or not, but I know I've seen it twice in the last week. So let's go over the whole idea of military time first, okay? So a 24-hour clock. I'm going to show all time slots so that we can see everything, okay? So you can see your first time slot is 0000. zero, zero, zero. This is midnight. We start counting a day's time from midnight. In the US, we would say this is 12 midnight, but throughout most of the rest of the world, we call it zero. It's just zero o'clock, it's the zero hour. So midnight is zero. And then the next time is zero, zero, 0030. That's 30 minutes after midnight, okay? My son was actually born at 1232 in the morning, so his time of birth listed on his birth certificate is zero, zero, colon 32 okay so this is the middle of the night the next time you have is 1 a.m and we're just going to count regularly from here so 1 a.m 1 32 2 going on and on and on until noon now we get to 12 noon which is um okay i don't want to open it 12 noon is the middle of the day so it's listed as 12 o'clock any time after this is going to be just continue to count. We're not going back to one like we do on a 12 hour clock. We're continuing to count from 12 on. We don't stop at 12 and go back to one, that's it. We don't stop at 12 and go back to one. We keep going, okay? So 12 o'clock is noon. That means 13 o'clock is 1 p.m. and 14 o'clock is 2 p.m. I generally try to, when I was first learning the whole military time thing, I generally tried to remember the three hour mark. So 12 o'clock is noon, 15 o'clock is three, 18 o'clock is six, and 20 o'clock is, or 21 o'clock is nine. I would tend to remember the eight o'clock more than 20 o'clock because that's our busy time. But you can remember it however you want. Just keep counting. One o'clock is 13, two o'clock is 14, three o'clock is 15, four o'clock is 16, five o'clock is 17, six o'clock is 18, seven p.m. is 19, eight p.m. is 20, nine p.m. is 21, 10 p.m. is 22, and 11 p.m. is 23. Instead of counting a 12-hour clock, we are counting a 24-hour clock. Most of the world just calls it a 24-hour clock. Only America really refers to it as military time. So, just to rehash, 00 colon 00 is midnight. And 12 is noon. Once you get to 12, you just keep counting. Do not revert back to one. Just keep, Alonzo Tayao Chulaya. You just keep counting, okay? Do not stop at 12 and go back to one. Just 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, okay? And there are lots of other ways to remember this. Somebody talked about some kind of like minus or an add thing, so one o'clock, one plus two is three, so add two to everything. So, and then you get 13, you put the one on the front. I don't know how that system works. For me, I just remember the certain times. The other thing is, very interesting, give me a moment. Uh, your scheduling system format, the day highlighted in orange. So if you look towards the top, you'll see 531 is highlighted in orange. 
all the times listed are 4, 5, 31. They are not, now this is where it was confusing. Some people thought that, well, let me close off the default, the all. Okay, somebody thought that 531 and 61 could only be booked at 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. They thought it went down in a column like this under the thing. No, that's not how it works. The day that's highlighted in orange, you are all these times can be opened for that day. So if I click 6-1, these are what I'm opening for 6-1. If I click 6-2, that's what I'm opening for 6-2. 6-3, 6-4. By tapping the dates at the top, you're switching to a different date on the schedule. And all the times listed are for the highlighted day. All the times listed are for the highlighted day. Okay? So you can click show all time slots if you want to book other things. Some people, when they're first starting out, if they don't have another job, they open everything. The more you have open, the more likely you are to get booked faster. Shh. Okay? Or you can just show the default time slots, which are the ones that are more likely to get booked. Okay? That's basically it. Hope that helps.